This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, January 16th. I'm James Spann. Another Alberta Clipper coming down the line from the northwest. That'll bring in a little colder air tomorrow and uh, keep us mostly dry for a while. We'll check some of the Skycam shots around the network this afternoon. First off, coming from Trustville, a case of severe clear. Uh, that's the view coming from Chalkville Mountain Road. We'll go up to uh, Walker County. That's a Skycam in downtown Jasper. That's the Walker County Courthouse. And that was an image from the Twitter army from Coleman. You can see those mid-level clouds moving in from the north in advance of the clipper. The low levels are very dry, so while somebody somewhere might see a sprinkle tonight, I think most locations will stay dry. Well, here's the deal. We've got a broad trough over the eastern half of the nation. A series of these waves coming down the backside of the trough. The clippers uh, will sharpen that up from time to time. And again, the next one will produce a, a shot of colder air tomorrow, but not a real big difference. Uh, today, mostly mid and upper 40s at mid-afternoon. Birmingham at 48, Anniston 45. The warm spot over in Tuscaloosa, they've got 52. Highs tomorrow about maybe 4, 5 degrees colder in most locations. Around the nation, very cold up north, barely above zero in parts of Minnesota and the Dakotas, where they have a blizzard warning in effect. All the counties there in red, the northwest corner of Iowa involved in that as well. Uh, high wind warnings in effect for much of the upper plains. Down this way, the counties in Alabama in purple, that is a red flag warning. That's for the potential of wildfires because of the very dry air, low dew points, and the breeze we'll expect. Rain for the next five days, just not much. This is a very quiet pattern. Now, this is valid through Tuesday evening of next week. There might be a sprinkle tonight, maybe a sprinkle Monday night with these clippers, but they're just not going to bring any moisture, and the air stays very, very dry. We'll check the modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow. This is at 500 millibars. There's the trough sharpening up again. And you can see the thickness values are taking another plunge. But I don't think numbers are going to be that different. Uh, you know, we had upper 40s today. We'll probably see mid 40s tomorrow. Pretty good wind, though, out of the west, averaging 10 to 20 miles an hour, making it feel colder. This is Saturday. Saturday morning is going to be cold. I'd say lows between 17 and 24, much like the numbers we saw this morning. But the weather should warm up pretty nicely. The high Saturday should be in the upper 40s to near 50. The sky bright and sunny. And Sunday will be a sunny day. Start the day around freezing. The high Sunday afternoon should be in the lower 50s. So uh, the weekend bright and sunny, but rather chilly. This is next week on Monday. We might be flirting with 60. That probably will be the warmest day of the next seven days. But on Tuesday, here comes more cold air. The thickness values come down. The high Tuesday dropping back into the upper 40s. And this is Wednesday. And again, you can see the series of clippers. They just keep on coming. Another one is over uh, Iowa and the Dakotas. And that will probably bring even colder air by the middle of next week. Again, this is uh, Wednesday. Uh, the high there would be in the middle 40s if this is right. And a week from today, a rather chilly day. This is uh, Thursday, the 23rd. We'll start the day down in the low 20s. The high would be in the middle 40s with a pretty good north wind. So uh, in this pattern, warm-ups are temporary, but the cold air shots are also temporary. All right, this is starting to get some buzz. We'll go out there later in the month. This is uh, January 27th. Uh, troughing approaching and uh, very cold air in place. That is a very close call for snow or ice around here. I'm not saying we're going to get snow or ice. I didn't say that. This is just modeling. There's no point in getting all upset about this, but we have seen very good consistency in this idea. This is 11 days away. Uh, and then on the 28th, that's a cold air mass settling in here. In fact, look at the anomalies. Uh, this is suggesting, uh, goodness, temperatures over 40 degrees below average just north of here. Uh, these are anomalies, again, not actual temperatures, but that would be maybe – you know, single-digit cold again for parts of Alabama. We'll see. Again, we'll keep an eye on that. Again, that's uh, Tuesday, January 28th. The end of the forecast on the 1st of February. Weather begins to warm up a little bit, but still much of the nation looks pretty cold. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.